The Jones Tigers for the second year out of the last three years have beaten the Oak Ridge Pioneers 21-12 and the exact revenge on this Oak Ridge team that beat them in overtime last year. Yeah, that, that overtime win last year didn't sit well with a lot of the Jones players. They wanted to make sure the game tonight came out with an excellent effort and it started, um, started kind of slow but then picked up pretty quick. We saw running back Anthony Gay just really have an excellent game. And then a key player in the game, Richard Thomas, makes a key extra point there, and he comes back to have a, some big moments later. Here is a big hit, but a great play by Collier, who holds onto the football, almost breaks away here. Yeah, Nate Collier did an excellent job catching the ball. Only a couple of catches really had his big game running the ball. There's a pass interference penalty. A little bit of a questionable call coming there. One of the few times they tried to get the ball to Rodgers, draws that penalty, come back with the next couple of plays later, Anthony Gay with a six-yard touchdown run where he just beats guys into the corner of the end zone. 14-0 halftime for Jones. But before it became halftime, Oak Ridge looked like they were going to at least uh, put seven points on the board. Yeah, that key guy, Richard Thomas, the kicker, decent kickoff. This was following that touchdown. Get the ball to Cox. He has to make something happen, and Demetrius Cox does. Just sees a hole, explodes right through it, and then there's one man to beat. That one man is Richard Thomas, and he has to fight off a blocker, slow Cox down somehow, wait for help. And this is the saving tackle right there. He slowed him down, makes the tackle, and Oak Ridge at this point has time that they can get in and cut the lead in half. A couple plays go nowhere. Last play of the half, one last chance. They end up going with the option play. Fullback keeps it, goes nowhere. They get no points out of that, which really came back to haunt them in the second half. Big, big play there. In the second half, here comes Oak Ridge. They finally get on the board, and Antonio Battle will put them in a position to score. Yeah, Battle with just his big run of the night. Really didn't have much of a chance to carry the ball, but Battle broke that one big. They come back with Rashad Smith keeping it around the corner, getting a touchdown, and all of a sudden it's a 14-6 game. Extra point gets blocked, so it's still a 14-6 game. And here was another key play, a punt return by Jermaine Jefferson, and watch how many fumbles on this play. Yeah, Jefferson loses the ball. Jones recovers it. Finally, Chris King covers that ball, makes sure of it, gets both hands around it. Things just went Jones's way, and then Oak Ridge comes back late in the game, spreads things out. Anthony Darling hooks up with Marcus Lowe. Anthony Darling on his one pass attempt, on his one play of the game, makes the most of it. Oak Ridge is going to look at all the times they could have scored and did not, and look back and how it really bit yeah. them tonight. Rushing-wise, uh, they had the edge over Jones. Both teams ran the football very well tonight, but field position played a very big role in this game. Field position ended up being the kiss of death for Oak Ridge. They ended up with bad field position all night. Jones in the first half started every possession in Oak Ridge territory, really shortening that field, making everything happen for them. Gay, 114 of those 211 yards, two touchdowns. Cabrera had 89 yards for Oak Ridge. So both teams are one and one now on the season as the Jones Tigers beat the Oak Ridge Pioneers 21 to 12. Next week, a humdinger of a football game, a 6A District 2 showdown between two of the top teams in the state of Florida, Apopka and Evans. Unfortunately, Ron Gerber will not be around for the game. He's going to be at his brother's wedding, he tells me. So Steve Hogan will join us for that game. We invite you to join us for that great matchup, Apopka and Evans. For Ron, statistician Pat Hernan, Logan Momberg, our spotter tonight, and director Joe Izquierdo, I'm Tom Morgan. Good night from the Citrus Bowl. The High School Game of the Week is being brought to you by Time Water Communications. Let's get connected, Central Florida.